Alright, this is not a particularly difficult level. We only have one minute, but the part that's hard is uh, determining when to uh, raise the release rate. What we want to do is we want to dig right here, and then we want to bash through the wall. Yes, it's as simple as it sounds, but the part is knowing when to, the hard part is knowing when to raise the release rate. So we're going to raise it. You have to raise it in such a way so that uh, a lot of women's get out of the hatch, but but like you, they can't turn around too much, or they'll or they'll. It, it's just it's just really weird. Here is the point where you want to raise the release rate, if I recall correctly. We want to raise it to 99 from this point. So hopefully they will all walk in and they'll uh, a few will turn around, I think, but not terribly many. So let's see if I did it at the right time here. I don't think I might have. Some are turning around. That's going to be a bit of a walk. That's going to be kind of nasty. But yes, you are going to use every second you have in this level. And I don't think I nailed it. Unless they can really just make that long walk in 10 seconds. That'd be pretty awesome. But I don't think it's going to happen this time. <sighs> Maybe a little more than halfway? Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to want to start raising that release rate from about here now, actually. More like, okay, than three quarters away through the wall. I kind of used halfway as my test point, but... Huh. And we can get extra guys to bash through so that uh, nobody turns around too quick or too soon. So this guy, I think the farthest behind guy has 17 seconds to walk the exit now. So if you need to use extra bashers, I guess that's real... No, 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 no. Don't tell me that one guy is going to turn er, is one guy is going to lose out. Are you kidding me? Well, extra bashers ahoy then. So here we go. I think this is going to be paramount to our success then. Is going to be the use of extra bashers. We have four left, so four guys four guys can uh bash through along with the first basher without having to uh, turn around. So uh, the last guy has about, let's see, okay. One more just to be safe. Okay, nobody has turned around now. So they should all make it at this point. Nobody has turned around. There's just a uniform line of women's going to the exit with the exception of this little group right here. And you're going to get deja vu because believe it or not, we're going to see this level again before the end of the game with one minor but really screwy change. Alright, so as you can see, this level values precision, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and we're going to have a guy block about right here. We only have just enough builders to get the job done, I do believe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go like so. And we're just going to build to this little spot right here. It's going to be a lot of fun trying to nail that, huh? We're going to go ahead and stretch out our bridge. Bridge. We're going to go ahead and stretch out our bridge a little so that uh, it only takes three to get over there. It's going to take three bridges to get across each particular gap. And now you got to really have your hands on the hotkeys here. F8 for the basher, remember. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut off your bridge right when you get to it with bashing. You'll shave off that top step and then he'll walk down here. And you need to click him as soon as he hits the ground because you don't have a lot of leeway here. There you go. Bashing is obviously the best way to end your bridges here because it just shaves off the top step. And it doesn't do anything like... It doesn't alter your bridge in any kind of gross way that would, uh... That would cause the lemmings to, you know, otherwise fall like digging. You don't have to dig like you did in pea soup. You can just bash your bridges away. And that makes this level uh, substantially easier in my purview. So, uh, once again, we're on the third bridge. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bash to get rid of that top step. And remember to pause with F11 immediately after you have bashed your step. There we go. He should be... Oh... That one's a little iffy, I think. I think I may have gone one too far. Yep, bye, 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 bye. Ah. Alright, so you get the idea, though. 
All right, there we go. He's walking off to safety. Now, the other thing that makes this level difficult is you notice we have no bombers, yet we placed the blocker at the beginning here. So what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to dig underneath the, uh, I'm going to try to dig underneath my uh, blocker so that I can free him and actually end up saving 100% of the lemmings in the level. But uh, that all depends on whether my guy ends up going uh, right or left. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get a guy to start digging. I hope he is going to the right. Okay, now I'm going to have him bash. Okay, he's going the right way. And see, he is now freed. He's now freed the uh, poor little blocker from his duties. So that's one way you can actually uh, get out of jams with blockers without having to bomb them. You can actually go underneath them. Uh, most of the time when you have to do that, you have to do so with miners. But in this case, we were able to dig under and bash so we could be a little more precise about it. And I did get kind of lucky there, happening to catch a lemming who was walking to the right. If I had gone to the left... Uh, if I had caught a lemming that was going to the left, obviously that would have ended in disaster. But in all, we got a little bit lucky with what is otherwise a somewhat difficult level. It just requires precision and a little bit of luck, that's all. Here we go, and then there were four. This is the first level that we get nine minutes to beat. And it is a really long level, but it's not particularly hard. In fact, because there are four entry hatches, I'm going to go ahead and raise the release rate to 99. And I'm going to be careful to set out blockers, so that's what I'm going to be doing first. A lot of lemmings are going to go on ahead, and I'm going to work with the top ones mostly at this first segment. Does he walk over? I don't remember. No, he doesn't. So uh, we got some going along here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have this first one. Does he dig? Let's check out the uh, let's check out the landscape and make sure, yeah. Yeah, I don't think this guy is going to have any reason to establish a digger. So, yeah, he's going to bump, turn around. Yeah, yeah, so we can totally dig with this guy. His path to the exit is pretty easy, but we want to make sure that guy's not too close to the edge. So yeah, you have to pay attention to a lot that's going on at once. You can see me doing some kind of cold calculating here, but it's really not that hard a level. we got to make sure we're going to be going back and forth between a couple guys. This is the guy we want to concentrate on for the moment because he is building. So we need to ensure that he does not go anywhere. Yeah, there he goes. And this guy has dug through, and he's going to be turning around any minute now. We'll probably want to be paying attention to him, because he's going to get to his destination first. It's a little bit of a long walk, but we have uh, plenty of tasks for everybody. We can blow up our blockers. They're all situated on steel, so uh, no surfaces will get harmed. This is going to turn out to be a pretty easy level. One thing you want to watch out for right here is that you have to build over these little humps. Let's uh, actually go back. Okay, yeah. He is going to get there after this guy, so we need to start building this guy first. And then we'll go back to our other guy here. So yeah, you can see this isn't a very difficult level. You can already kind of map out a solution in your head. Let's go ahead and give him one more guy there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, mine his bridge to cut it off. While we concentrate on old boy over here. Whoa, 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 we actually need to uh, build with him. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'm probably just going to, well, no, I better not let him bite the dust. All right, wow. Wow, that was some uh, good keeping track there, Lou. That's some nice keeping track there, boss. And now the others we can work on individually. We can actually uh, free these guys up top. Let's go ahead and uh, let's start building their way out. Okay, and then I kind of just let him go. I don't know why I did that. I knew he was going to turn around. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and build up here, and I'm going to blow up both sets of top blockers. That's nice and simple. All right, we've already saved half of the lemmings in this level. Not too bad, actually. And now we want to... Uh, it doesn't matter what this guy does, really, so... Uh, he can uh, run, he can bump into this little thing and it's not going to matter because he just turns around and does his thing. 
Now all we have to do is see the Wemmings out to their respective... We have to see the bottom pairs of Wemmings out to their respective exits. This is going to be a little difficult because we're going to have to bump into this guy's bridge to make sure they can go over it. So uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and we're going to concentrate on him because we've got a lot of time. We've been uh, using our time well and all our Wemmings are already out so we can go ahead and concentrate on each of these bottom halves uh, actually individually. So... And now you just want to keep building until he goes through the bridge. The other Wemmings will be able to get through it, but you're going to have to deal with a couple of build a bridge and bump your head type situations before you actually before you actually make it up there. I think this is going to be the one that puts him through, though. Alright, it is. So now he's going to walk up there, and those guys can be released. And now we only have one builder left to deal with. Okay, up and up and up. And there we go, and now we just have to build a simple kind of zigzaggy bridge to the top. Which, as it turns out, is not that difficult, except for a little snarl with these roots right here. So we can let these guys go, and we can call it a level, and we're going to call it a day, because even just explaining the basics of that level took a hell of a long time. Almost five minutes on its own, so, uh, only three levels today. Sorry. Three or four, actually. I can't remember now that I think about it. <laughs> well... Then that just reflects so well on me and my lovely memory. You can bet my wife has a lot of fun dealing with that. But these last guys are walking the exit. You don't need anywhere near the allotted nine minutes to beat this level. This is really more of a taxing level than a mayhem. So don't let the size overwhelm you. This is a really easy level. I'll see you guys tomorrow.